Welcome back to lesson four of Cantonese grammar speed learning. Today our task is another character, ge. This appears a lot in the middle or at the end of each sentence in Cantonese conversations. We will be using three lessons to talk about this character. Today is episode one. Ge in attributives. So what is attributive? Let's find out. In this lesson, we will be mainly dealing with this character when we use attributives. So first, let's know what is attributive. Many people will tell you attributive is adjective, which is half correct only, because attributive can be adjectives or other things. Usually, attributive could be limitations, descriptions, or modification before the people and things we want to modify. Sometimes, to be specific, for example, if I say sky, what kind of sky? I can say blue sky. So blue sky is to describe what kind of sky. Or to give some limitation to the sky. Here, blue is an adjective. However, attributive can also be phrases or sentences. If I say the boy, and I want to describe a bit more, or give some modification. In this case, I can say the boy who has a lot of money. So has a lot of money. Is the limitation or modification for the boy? So you can see, adjectives can be attributive, or sentences, phrases, can be the thing to modify as well. So all the modification towards people or things you want to describe can be called attributive. When it comes to attributive, usually we need this character to connect the previous part and the next part, but we do not need this character all the time. So let's see if we have some adjective phrases, for example, adjectives or degree with adjectives. Degree like very much, so. Quite, very, to describe the degree of the adjective. You can use adjective only, or you can use degree and adjective together. Both of these are called adjective phrases. So, if the adjective phrases, they have only one character. With it or without it, both okay. If I want to say red rose, red is hong in Cantonese. Mui guai is rose. I can say hong ge mui guai with this character, or I can say hong mui guai without this character, because red in Cantonese has only one character, so. We can remove this character ge. And if we have two characters or more, usually ge cannot be omitted. For example, hou hong means quite red or very red. In this case, if I say very red rose, to connect very red and rose in between. We need this character, and to say very ordinary people, very ordinary in Cantonese has three characters. So before people, we need to say get this character. Noun phrases can also be used to describe or to modify things. First, if we describe 
the nature of the thing. Usually, it's a fixed term or category. In this case, we don't have to say this character. For example, Chinese dictionary. It is the nature of the dictionary, or you can say it's a kind of dictionary, a category. So between Chinese and dictionary, we don't need to say this character. And next one, if it's describing as limitation or modification, which is not a fixed term or category. In this case, we need to say this character. If I say tomorrow's class, because tomorrow's class is not a fixed term or category. In this case, we have to use ge between tomorrow and class. And again, people's personality is not a fixed term or category either. So we need ge in between. Next one, if a noun has two characters and it's modify another noun, which is not a category either, this time, usually we also need to say get again. For example, South Pole's ice, not get bing. So, to say whose, you need to be extra careful. If the thing we're talking about, or the people we're talking about, is within the following topics, company, colleagues, family, family members, school, classmates, teachers, relationship or marriage, this can be included or it can be removed. For example, my teacher, I can say 我的老师, or 我老师. At my home, I can either say 我的屋企, or 我的屋企, both OK. Within these topics, to say whose, in our language, get can be omitted. And sometimes you will hear some very weird phrases from local people because this character can be replaced by using measurement. When I want to say my book, I can say no problem. But a lot of people will say here is the measurement for books or brochures. So this can replace get. If you really want to speak like local, you'd better use ngobunshu because this is used quite a lot compared to the first one. And if you use verb phrases or sentences to modify people and things, usually this character cannot be removed. When I want to say the fruit I bought yesterday, I yesterday buy is the verb phrases, or you can say the sentence. This sentence is modifying fruit. So to connect the fruit and the thing we used as our modification, we need this character in between. And pay attention. In English, we will say the fruit that I bought yesterday. In Chinese, if it's modification, no matter how long it is, it's always before the thing or the people we're describing. So we will say I bought yesterday first. Then we will say the fruit. And in between, we use this character to connect. And now it's exercise time again. I will give you some time. You can insert this into the sentence 
All of these are pretty easy. I think you can figure out the meaning very easily. If you can't, you can just type or to paste the characters into the dictionary to see the meaning first. So understand the whole paragraph, then insert this character when necessary. We will see the answer later on together. First, my cell phone. My cell phone has nothing to do with family, company, marriage, relationship, or school. So we need to say this character when we want to say whose. My mom, because it's family member, so we don't have to say that. Classmates from school. School is the thing I mentioned before, but schools does not equals to whose. In this case, this character cannot be removed. So, schools classmates. We all like swimming, and the school's swimming pool very big. Again, we need this character. Classmates who like swimming. Here we use a phrase, a verb phrase, to describe classmates. So we need this character again. The depth of water, which is not a fixed term, so we have to say this character again.